The Littlest Pilgrim. The author writes the words, the illustrator draws the picture. Minnie was a pilgrim. She lived with her family in a small village. There were many pilgrims in her village, but Minnie was the littlest one. Even though she was small, Minnie tried to help with the village chores. One day, Minnie decided to be extra helpful. Minnie found her big brother by the house. He was stacking wood for the winter. She wanted to help. Look, brother, Minnie said, I am helping to make a wood pile. But Minnie's brother was too busy to notice her. Minnie went inside the house and found her big sister. She was mending a dress. I am ready to sew, said Minnie. Sorry, Minnie, said her sister. You are too little to help with mending. Go help Mama. I am busy. So Minnie went outside to help her mother. She was at the oven baking bread for dinner. Look, Mama, said Minnie, I am helping. But Minnie's mother was so busy making bread, she didn't even hear Minnie. Minnie went to find her father. Surely he would want some help. He was getting ready to hunt for food in the forest. Sorry, Minnie, you are too little for hunting, Minnie's father said when he saw her. Why don't you go pick some berries for us to eat? As Minnie walked toward the berry bushes, she spotted her neighbor. He was fixing the door to his house. I can help, Minnie started to say. Sorry, Minnie, this is a big job and you are too little. Minnie wandered through the village. She was sad. Minnie just wanted to help, but everyone was too busy to notice, or they thought the jobs were too big and Minnie was too little. It wasn't fair. Minnie walked toward the water. She spotted some boys from her village. They were fishing. Can I help you fish? Minnie asked one of the boys. He laughed. Sorry, Minnie, you are too little for fishing. Now Minnie was very sad. Why would no one let her help? Minnie knew there had to be something special she could do, even if she was little. Minnie started to walk home and saw some berries along the way. As she picked them, she heard something rustling in the leaves. Minnie moved closer to get a better look. There, at the edge of the forest, stood a girl. And she was little, just like Minnie. Hello, said Minnie, what's your name? The girl stood still and looked at Minnie. She didn't say a word. Minnie remembered the berries she held in her hand. Do you want one? She asked. At first, the girl just stared at Minnie, but soon she began to smile, a very big smile. Minnie was too little for many things, but she was not too little to make a friend.